questions that can really help you in your next Salesforce interview. So let's get started with our first question. The first question says that on case object, I have two record types, a rec1 and rec2. And on the profile level, my user has just view access to the case. So from profile level, I just have view access to the case. And now I have two permission sets, perm1 and perm2, wherein perm1, I have only view access to the rec type 1 or rec1 record type. Whereas I have create, read and edit access in perm2 for the rec2. Now let's say my user has both the permission sets assigned that is perm1 and perm2. In that case, if I click on the new button of the case, will my user be able to see an option to create a case with rec1? In simple terms, we can see there are two permission sets perm1 and perm2. <coughs> in perm1, you just have view access to rec1 and in perm2, you have all the access like read, create and edit all the accesses for the rec2. And now if both the permission sets are, uh, sets are assigned to you, if I click on the new button, will I see rec1 as an option? Whereas on rec1, I just have view access. So will I see that option? Will I get an option to create a case with rec1? And the answer to this question is that yes, you will be able to create a case with rec1 as well if you have both the permission set assigned. And the reason is because from perm1, it's going to get the view access to rec1. From perm2, it's going to get the read, create, edit access and it is also going to get the rec2 access, right? So basically from this permission set, it will get the access to the record type. And along with that, it will get the whole access to the object itself. That is create, read and edit. Now, irrespective of the record type, whether he has access to it or does not has the access because he has the create, read and edit access or the create access. If he clicks on the new button, he will be able to see rec1 in its option. And also he will be able to create a case of type rec1. So the answer to this question is yes, he will be able to create. Let's move on to our next question that says that <clears throat> I have dev org and a QA org and I have created a master detail relationship in dev org with object A, B and C where B is a junction object. So basically we have a B as a junction object and A and B, A and C are the primary and secondary objects to it, right? Uh, master detail objects to it. And now then I have deployed the same objects to the QA org. Okay, the same deployment is done to the QR. Now, once done, I have converted the A lookup, A to lookup relationship and again changed it back to master detail relationship. Now, if I try to redeploy the same to QA, will I get any error or not? So first it says that what I did was in dev, <coughs> I created a, an object A, B and C, right? And I have deployed the same changes to QA as well. Right, so Q as well as this A, B and C where B is a junction object. And then I converted this to lookup in dev org. And then I again try to redeploy the same things inside the QA org. Will I get any error? That's what the question says. And according to me, yes, you will get an error. And I have seen that we get an error. And the reason for this is because let's say previously A and B had a master detail relationship. Where in the case, if A is a object from which the first time the relation is created, it's considered as a primary object or primary relationship. On the other hand, C will be considered as secondary relationship, right? So A is a primary uh, to the B as far as the master detail is concerned. A will be the primary relationship and B will be the C will be the secondary relationship to the B object. Now, the same will be applicable in QA as well. And now let's say you change this A from primary to first of all, you change it from master data to lookup. What's going to happen is that automatically the secondary one, which was the, the C, which was the secondary one will automatically get converted into primary object or the primary relationship as far as the master detail is considered. And again, if you convert A back to from lookup to master detail, it will be considered as secondary, right? So now the sequence has changed because you converted it from lookup to master detail, the A, the sequence of the A will get converted from primary to secondary. And now if you try to redeploy this, it's going to throw an error saying that A is primary over here, right? It's going to give you an error that A was primary over here and uh, C was secondary over here. And it's not understanding the scenario over like it's not able to find out which one is primary and which one is secondary. And that's why you will most probably get an error in this scenario. So let's move on to our last question. Now, before moving to our last question, 
Now, if you are appearing for any of the interview and you don't feel confident enough, you can have one-to-one -one mock interview with me by clicking the top mid link below. So let's move on to our last question that says that I have a picklist field. Let's say it's status. So picklist field name is status. Okay. Now, which has three values: open, completed, and closed. Now I have removed completed value from the picklist. What will happen to all the records which status is completed? Okay, so basically there are three values open, completed and closed. And what we have done is in future we went and removed this completed values. <clears throat> so there will be existing records which has completed at the, as its status. Now if I'm removing it, what will happen to those records? Now the answer to this question is that if you are changing the picklist value or if you are removing the picklist value, automatically Salesforce itself will give you an option. Do you want to replace it with some other value or do you want to keep it blank? An example would be if you remove this completed value, automatically we'll get an option to either to change it to open or either to close. So all the records which were completed, you get an option to change it to open or closed or even keep it as blank if required. So the answer to this question, you always get an option to set whatever status is that you want to if you remove one of the value. So this was all the questions that I had to cover in this video. If you found this video helpful, I request you to please like this video and subscribe to my channel.